In this gameplay expedition, I'm gonna test the Deathscape, the little brother of my Emerald Chaos, I would say. So you can, I'm just gonna leave it here so you can read through it a little bit. I feel like the Deathscape is a little bit weaker than the Emerald Chaos so far. That's what I have on it. And yeah, I'm gonna test it next to the MRK, MRK, MRK in this expedition. Also talk a little bit more about the game and my thoughts. But it's mostly a weapon test on enemies where I need my far range and guns anyway. They must have. Okay. That's pretty much the far range up the raid charging in here. I'm not quite sure to be honest what those head things does to do. But I know I know that my weapon damage or weapon I'm confused with how for that. What does that soul do? I should have read through it some more, maybe also in German. Um yeah. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what the soul actually does. Um, let me just figure that out real quick. I've never quite tested that bad weapon that much. So. Poisonous effect. Sure how to mark enemies. No, that's my charge. Let's shoot. It's fun. Okay, okay. Let's read through stigmatized toxic. Oh boy. No, no. You saw what too busy reading through stuff. To give some nice scores above their head. That's pretty much what I got from that. Okay, next try. Ah, successful shots inflict toxic and mark the target for 5 seconds. Killing a marked enemy causes them to explode, dealing damage in a 6 meter radius. Marked and caught an explosion. I think that's a little bit more worthless than the other gun's toxic effect. But it's just keep on coming back to them let's test it here okay yeah the freeze is random burn is planned but it seems like it freezes them a lot anyway yeah to be honest i definitely prefer the ammo chaos i feel like it's a little bit stronger from the effects and the uh, tools are doing much more AoE damage and better job with that AoE damage. Let me just equip that. Ah, I don't need to. Nauseous bonds are better than the other one, I would say. I'm just wanting to switch through weapons. Like it's not as far range as the other one, damage wise. Yeah, the far range capabilities seem better on the other gun. Got a gun and it freezes them too, which is nice. With this random, it should be random because the normal effect was burn. But as you can see, the stores with this gun just fly towards the enemies and do massive amounts of AoE damage because they select the random next target and also on the Emerald Chaos. My ammo just doesn't run out. It just doesn't happen. It's not a thing. It's not a thing. Am I running out with this gun? No. Oh, damn you. That's a grenade throw. So, the Amber Chaos is pretty much my baby that's gonna carry me through whole, the whole end game. If I could and I know how, 
and probably would give the death escape to other people if they want to nade it. Then you snap up. You know the crap out of me. You know that. Right. Damn, it feels so good. It feels everything. Way too easily. And I'll never run on a ammo. I want to snap with that. Whoever wants it. Yeah, I'm still gonna use the death jar. The stuff that escape after I mess up my ammo in this gun, which should take forever anyway to crawl out of here. Like the little. Like the little. <laughs> like the little mole rats they are, that and uh, what a dumb breaker. Hand breaker. The hand breaker. Damn, bring all your bosses to me, oh boy. I'm gonna go out and get myself some Emerald Chaos ammo. Ah, I'm already way too confused for this. Some Deathscape ammo. They're already lining up the enemies for me, look at that, how nice of them. And let's get some juicy rounds in here. So the AV damage if they all together is pretty high. That's pretty much what the death gate does. But it doesn't kill them as quickly as the other gun. So probably if you have the death gate it's probably important to put something else on it so the one shot capabilities are actually pretty high that would be the most important thing I feel like like um, I don't know what the thunder ability is called the thunder bird has for example something to make sure the enemies die quickly It all looks nice, but you don't do anything to the big boys because you don't kill them instantly most of the time. So therefore, they aren't that useful. Come on, make your bounce round happen. Freeze effect is nice though. But it's pretty random, so you can't. you have to do all the time. You can't rely on it and I can't stop and I can't use my slow trap too. Oh I'm totally glitched out. I'm totally glitched out here. I'm totally glitched out. I can't do anything. I can't even shoot. Okay just kill me. Just kill me. Yeah get it over with. And, uh, oh can I do no I can't do I can't do anything. I can't even die here because my abilities are that strong. Um I can't roll. That's new, that's a new glitch. Come on dude. Good job. Good job. Yeah no, that's gonna be all the <laughs> that's gonna be the whole video. I don't wanna replay and retry that. I mean I'm gonna retry that but I'm not gonna retry that with that gun. That's all the content on the gun you're gonna get. And I'm gonna focus on the shotgun next. Yeah. It might be better if you throw something on it with... to have a better ability to show here. Hmm. Hmm. No, I don't. Death Chains, Death Throne, I'm just going to switch it out, yeah, the Thunderbird ability, or the Claymore ability, might be a better use for that gun, something to kill fast, I need to kill fast with that gun, yeah, Evening Star, is going to be the next one, I'm going to do next gun comparison, nothing compares to the Emerald Chaos, nothing, absolutely nothing, this is a short one, because the gun didn't satisfy my needs 
for being overpowered as hell.